Tisafero, died on January 10, 2024, at the age of 72. She was an American actress, model, and the younger sister of Mia Farrow. She was best known for her role as Anne Bowles in the 1979 film Zombie 2. Glynis Johns died of natural causes on January 4, 2024, at the age of 100. She was a British actress best known for her role as Mrs. Banks in the 1964 film Mary Poppins. In total, during her career, she appeared in almost 100 films and television series, including While You Were Sleeping, The Court Jester, and The Ref. She was also known for her role as Desiree Armfelt in the 1973 Broadway play A Little Night Music, for which she received a Tony Award and a Drama Desk Award. The actress is survived by her grandson and her three great-grandchildren, Tom Wilkinson passed away at his home on December 30, 2023, at the age of 75. The cause of his death is unknown. He was a British actor who appeared in nearly 100 films. He was perhaps best known for playing Gerald in the comedy film The Full Monty. In 2002, he was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Actor for his role as Matt Fowler in the drama film In the Bedroom. In 2008, he was nominated for an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for his role as Arthur Edens in the legal thriller film Michael Clayton. In 2009, he won a Primetime Emmy Award for his role as Benjamin Franklin in the miniseries John Adams. Lee Sun Kyun died on December 27, 2023, at the age of 48. He was a South Korean actor, most known for his starring role in the Academy Award-winning film Parasite. David Soule died on January 4, 2024, at the age of 80. In the last years of his life, he battled cancer and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. He was an American-British actor and singer, most known for portraying Ken Hutchinson in the television series Starsky and Hutch. His acting career spanned more than half a century, from 1961 until 2013. Andre Brower died of lung cancer on December 11, 2023, at the age of 61. He was an American actor, best known for his starring roles in the popular television series Brooklyn Nine-Nine and Homicide, Life on the Street. On the big screen, he starred in popular films such as Frequency, The Mist, and City of Angels. Andre Brower is survived by his wife, Emmy Brabson, who co-starred with him in Homicide, Life on the Street, and their three sons. James McCaffrey died of cancer on December 17th at age 65. He was an American actor best known for voicing Max Payne in the Max Payne video games. He also appeared in almost 100 films and television series. He played Harvey Specter's father, Gordon Specter, in the television series, Suits, Jimmy in the television series, Rescue Me, and Roy in the romantic comedy film, The Truth About Cats and Dogs, Kemar de los Reyes died of cancer on December 24th at age 56. He was a Puerto Rican actor, most known for playing Antonio Vega in 287 episodes of the American soap opera One Life to Live. He played this role for 14 years, from 1995 to 2009. He also appeared in television series such as Sleepy Hollow, All American, and The Rookie. Richard Romanus passed away on December 23, 2023. He was 80 years old. Richard Romanus was an American actor most known for portraying Michael in the 1973 film Mean Streets. He also appeared in the action film Point of No Return and the television series The Sopranos. Christian Oliver died on January 4, 2024, at the age of 51. He was a German actor who appeared in numerous Hollywood films, including Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, The Good German, and Speed Racer.
Richard Franklin passed away following a long illness on December 25th at age 87. He was an English actor, writer, and director, most known for playing Captain Yates in the television series Doctor Who. Harry Johnson died after a long illness on January 2nd at age 81. He was an American actor who played supporting roles in many films and television series, including Black Mass, Cold Case, and Law and & Order. Tom's mother died of lung cancer on December 26th at the age of 86. He was an American comedian, actor, and musician. As an actor, he appeared in 41 films and television series. Camden Toy died from pancreatic cancer on December 11th at the age of 68. He was an American actor, writer, and film editor most known for playing various characters in the television series Buffy the Vampire Slayer. His other credits include roles in Goodnight Burbank and The Bay. David Leland passed away on December 24th at age 82. He was a British film director, screenwriter, and actor best known for his work on films such as Band of Brothers, Mona Lisa, and Wish You Were Here. Sarah Rice died on January 6th at the age of 68. She was an American theater actress. Casey Kramer died of natural causes on December 24th at the age of 67. She was an American actress who appeared in 50 film and television productions during her 41-year career. Maurice Hines died on December 29th at the age of 80. He was an American dancer, singer, and actor. His most famous role was as Clay Williams in the 1984 film The Cotton Club. David Kernan died on December 26th at age 85. He was a British actor most known for portraying Private Hitch in the 1964 film Zulu. Mickey Cottrell died of complications from Parkinson's disease on January 1st at the age of 79. He was an American film publicist and actor who appeared in films such as My Own Private Idaho and Volcano. Selma Archard died on December 14th at the age of 98. She was an American actress who appeared in films such as Die Hard, Lethal Weapon, and Scrooged. Mike Nussbaum passed away of natural causes on December 23rd at the age of 99. He was an American actor and director best known for playing Gentle Rosenberg in Men in Black. Ian Pepperell died on December 22nd at age 53. He was a British actor best known for his role as Russell in the soap opera EastEnders. Lillian Cromby died on January 3rd at age 66. She was an Australian actress and dancer. Famous celebrities who died in the last few days. James Kodak passed away on January 9th, 2024 at the age of 61. He was an American drummer who played in the legendary German hard rock band, Scorpions, from 1996 to 2016. Shecky Green passed away of natural causes on December 31, 2023, at the age of 97. He was an American comedian, most known for his work in Las Vegas and appearances on Johnny Carson's Tonight Show. Franz Beckenbauer died of natural causes on January 7, 2024, at the age of 78. He was a German professional football player and manager. He was considered one of the greatest players of all time. He won a World Cup with West Germany and two Ballon d'Or awards. Neil Nanda died on December 24, at the age of 32. He was an Indian-born stand-up comedian best known for his appearances on Comedy Central and Jimmy Kimmel Live. Colin Burgess died on December 16th at the age of 77. He was an Australian rock musician who was the original drummer of the legendary rock band ACDC. 
Phil Niblock passed away on January 8, 2024, at the age of 90. He was an American composer, filmmaker, and videographer. He made music from drones, microtones, and instruments such as cellos and bagpipes. Joan Acosella died on January 7th at the age of 78. She was an American journalist and dance critic who wrote about the leading figures in ballet and modern dance for more than 40 years. Frank Ryan died of complications from Alzheimer's disease on January 1st at age 87. He was an American professional football player who led the Cleveland Browns to their last National Football League title in 1964 and was selected to the Pro Bowl three seasons in a row from 1964 to 1966. Henry Sandin died of a stroke on December 25th at the age of 95. He was an English television personality and longtime antiques roadshow expert. George McGuinness died of complications from cardiac arrest on December 14th at the age of 73. He was an American Hall of Fame basketball player who played for the Indiana Pacers, Philadelphia 76ers, and Denver Nuggets. Bobby Jean Carter died on December 23rd at the age of 41. She was an American television personality and the sister of Nick Carter and the late Aaron Carter. Cale Yarborough died from complications of a rare genetic disorder on December 31st at the age of 84. He was an American Hall of Fame racing driver, businessman, and founder of Cale Yarborough Motorsports. Laura Lynch died on December 22nd at age 65. She was an American musician and founding member of the American country music band, The Chicks. She was on the band's first two albums, but left the band in 1995. Joseph Lelevald died of complications from Parkinson's disease on January 5th at age 86. He was an American journalist and former executive editor of the New York Times. Jim Ladd died of a heart attack on December 17th at age 75. He was an American DJ, radio producer, and writer. Tim Steele passed away on January 7th at age 55. He was an American stock car racing driver. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video, hit the subscribe button to receive more like it in the future.